What's up, y'all? YouTube man, third video, third video of today, or well, fourth video of today. This video is gonna talk about like motherfuckers that like get mad or it's going through some things, but take it out on you. Now, I'm a person to where when I'm mad or if I'm upset, uh, I keep all my feelings within. You know, I don't walk around trying to, you know, take my anger out on nobody else. I keep all that stuff within, you know what I'm saying? You know, because it's not your problem, you know, why should I put my problem onto you? Why should I put my anger onto you? Not saying that you can't, not saying that you can't talk to somebody else about your problem, but what I mean is, is like, I'm not going to take my anger out on nobody else. That's not right to do stuff like that, so I ain't going to do all that. But anyways... Yeah, man. Um, I, I, okay, I ain't gonna lie. This is something that that I have to stop doing. <laughs> you know, sometimes I be taking out my anger on my mom and my little brother. Sometimes, sometimes I be doing that stuff, man. Like, like they walk around and like I might say something or like they might do one little small thing and then I'm like, oh man, can you stop doing that or something like that to my mom, my little brother. That's something. That, that's something that I gotta stop doing. So. I'm not going to be a hypocrite and act like I don't do that. Because to, cause to my mom my little brothers, I be doing that. And that's something that I got to stop. I almost ran that cat over. That's something that I got to stop. So, those are the only people that I do take my anger upon. <laughs> but random strangers, I don't do that. And like I said, you know, that's something that, that I'm going to stop doing. Probably because I do it. Because, you know, I can maybe take advantage of them or something or whatever. I don't know. But yeah, anyways, man, that, that's something that I'm gonna stop doing. You know what I'm saying? You know, but anyways, man, but as far as strangers, I don't never take my anger out on a stranger. Like, like even back when I was in school, let's say that I was having a bad day or something like that, I kept all my anger to myself. I kept all my anger or whatever else to myself. I didn't walk in school, me mugging like, you know what I'm saying? I just went to school like a regular day. You know what I'm saying? Like. I kept all that stuff in, you know what I'm saying, and 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 I will find some other way to release my anger besides of putting it on somebody else. But anyways, man, there's a coworker at my job, man, and I'm not gonna say her name, but this lady comes to work mad and shit, and because she's mad at her at at whatever she's mad at, she wants to take it out on you. So she wants to, you know, so if you if you make like a minor mistake, not even like not even a major mistake, a minor mistake, she wants to bump her gums and run her mouth and give you certain looks, stuff like that. It's like, lady, who are you looking at? Who are you talking? Like, like I said, man, like I said, luckily, I like her husband. So, you know, that's that's the reason why I, I haven't flamed her, because motherfucker, don't be don't be looking at me and like don't be like saying stuff to me or nothing like that. Saying stuff like Tyshawn takes twenty years to get the stuff done or whatever he, she was talking like 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 just be mumbling and saying shit. Like, only reason why I ain't flame her flame her stupid ass is because of her husband. That's the only reason. <laughs> That's the only reason why I haven't flamed that stupid ass. That's the only reason why. <laughs> All right. So with that being said, <clears throat> yeah, man. Like she just walks around to take her anger out. On you and stuff like that, like bitch. Don't be motherfucking taking anger out on me. You know what I'm saying? Don't be taking your shit out on me. I don't even know you. you know what I'm saying like that's the that's that's the thing that people seem to don't not understand. We're coworkers. I don't even know you. You know what I'm saying? You're not my friend. Nobody nobody at my job is my friend. Y'all just associates. Y'all just coworkers. Y'all are just people that I have to work with because I have to come to the job too, just like you. Because I have to come to the establishment just like you. So, at the end of the day, we ain't friends, though, bro. I don't know you. You don't know me. Let's just get the work done and bounce. There's no need to take, you know, problems at home and bring it to the workplace. Don't don't take your problems from, from at home and bring it to the workplace. Keep all that shit at home. But, nope, she wants, she wants to bring her little issues to the workplace. Shit like that. Like, man, I don't got time for that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what goes back to being an entrepreneur? Work for yourself. You don't have to have problems with coworkers or whatever like that or supervisors or whatever like that. You do what the fuck you want to do. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to have to, uh, you know, and, and like I said, me personally, I'm a people's person, but I'm a people's person to to people that I like. 
I'm not a people's person to people that I don't like or people that I have issues with. If if you're a cool dude or cool girl, then that's when I'm social and I'm, you know, I'm talking to you, kicking it with you. But if you're a person I don't like, then I'm not really a people's person. I ain't going to talk to you. I'm, you know, I'm going to be antisocial. But, but this hoe motherfucking is bipolar. One minute she's smiling at you, next minute she, she, she giving you a mean mug. It's like, bitch, are you happy or mad? Are you happy or mad? Like, 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 stop doing that bipolar shit. Cause one minute you cracking a joke and shit and laughing, next minute you fucking mad and shit. Bitch, are you mad or happy? Pick, pick one. Bitch, <laughs> man, bro, that's tweaking, man. Like, bro, I don't got time to be coming to work, sitting here and go see your bitch ass ass. Like I said, in the beginning she was nice, she was cool. Now this whole when I start, it, it, that, that, that's the thing about certain people, bro. Certain people are cool in the beginning, but once you get to know them. Those true colors come out. It's like, bitch, I'm not here to hear, deal with your attitude. Like, I make some minor mistake, and, and, and she gets added. Like, like it'll be different if like I just messed up like super bad, like completely. Like, goddamn, Tyshawn, you messed everything up. No, like little minor stuff. Like, li- like little little minor minute things. She wants to get an attitude. Like, bitch, shut the fuck up, man. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody, like I said, my mistakes are minor. It literally takes like five seconds to fix. <laughs> like five, ten seconds just to go back and fix something again. Like, it's not nothing too crazy. Towards like, Tyshawn, damn, bro, you messed the whole shit up. Like, nah, it's little shit. Like, what happened, man? Like, uh, like a couple, of, like a couple of days ago, I was supposed to uh take the tablecloths off the tables. And I had missed like three tablecloths. She said, "I thought I told you to take the tablecloths off the table," or or no, you know, what I'm saying? shit like that. Like I said, luckily because her husband's there, I ain't treat her ass. Because number one, don't raise your voice at me. I don't care who the fuck you are. I don't care if you're a supervisor or whoever you are. Don't be. I mean, I mean like she didn't she didn't yell at me, but she but she raised her voice to me, motherfucker. Don't raise your voice at me because her husband works there. I ain't saying nothing because he's there and he and he's a cool dude. Like I said, when you disrespect the wife and, and terms, you disrespect the husband. So I ain't saying nothing to her because he's there. But bitch, shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> don't be fucking raising your voice to me, ho. If I slap your stupid ass. I'm just playing. I don't hear girls. I'm just playing. This, that's just a joke. But still, man, like don't be raising your damn voice to me, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what the fuck you be, man? Like don't be raising your damn voice to me, nigga. I'm saying, like, like little shit, like she get mad over little shit, or maybe, um, I ha- I forgot to wipe the countertop, and this whole one start like getting mad and shit, like nigga, shut your clown ass up, nigga, like, you know what I'm saying, like I was supposed to wipe a countertop or some shit like that, and because I had missed the spot, go wipe the counter, like, you know what I'm saying, like I said, luckily, like I said, bro, um, because her husband works there and he's a cool dude. That's the reason why I ain't roast her ass yet. That's the only reason why I'm 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 putting up her attitude. You know what I'm saying? Because her husband's a cool, nice man. So I'm not trying to, you know, break my bond with him. And my, like I said, like I said, we're not friends either. It's just he's a cool coworker, and you know, I'm not trying to roast his wife, make her fucking embarrassed and shit. And then me and him got beef. So, man, bro, man, coworkers, man. That's all I want to say, man, but Entrepreneur Tyson coming soon. That's all I want to say. I'm out of here.